Hi, Nancy. Thank you for that tremendous introduction. Thank you all for being here, and good evening, and especially to the Guns for sponsoring this advocacy award. It is great for our family, on behalf of so many people, living the fight every day against human genetic diseases, to be able to stand here and to talk about advocacy. I had a chance this afternoon to speak to the board and key members of Research America and to share some perspectives and a number of years ago to go out and to talk about research and the importance of research and development and innovation and why America is such a critical hub for this. One of the people who joined me on that was Dick Gephardt, a great man many of you know, all of you know. And Dick used to talk about this virtuous circle of research and development. And he's right. And you think about our journey in the world of Pompeii, starting with my wife and I as two young parents of a then 15-month-old and seven-day-old who we were told wouldn't live to be but a couple of years old and there was nothing we can do. And we wanted, if nothing else, to just change the course to the extent that we could try of what we were told would happen to them with this dreaded neuromuscular disease. And without knowing it, we embarked into the world of medical science. And it started with academic research, NIH researchers, with venture capitalists, with philanthropists, small companies, big companies, all of it, leading to that treatment in 2006 that was approved. And it saved the kids' lives. And it improved the lives of many people living with Pompe disease. And I'm happy to say that Patrick celebrated his 15th birthday last Wednesday. And Megan celebrated her sweet 16 this past December. These are the times and the moments in life. And even then, we realized in the last few years, as is so often the case in medical research, it wasn't a cure. It's a treatment. It's a first step. And we've got to go back and do it again and again. And that's why your support tonight and the work Mary, John, and everybody in this universe of research here in America does is so critically important. And the role of families and advocates to just have a chance to maybe push that virtuous circle a little bit to extend and enhance the life of their loved ones, of their families. At the end of the day, I think that's all we're trying to do is to enhance quality of life and to earn more time. As Nancy indicated, the movie about our family was inspired by first a, a Wall Street Journal profile and then a book, The Cure, by the Wall Street Journal Pulitzer Prize-winning author Gita Anand. We spent two years with Gita as she tried to understand our family, interviewing hundreds of people who were involved with us in this journey. At the end of it, she learned much from our children as we did. And when you think about why we're all here and why we care about research, it affects every one of us, oftentimes those without a voice. And Gita, like Eileen and I, learned more from the children, our kids, Megan and Patrick, than we've ever taught them without their ever knowing that they were teaching us along the way. And so to conclude my thanks tonight, I'd like to read to you the last paragraph of that book, The Cure, the epilogue that Gita wrote, because I think it captures so beautifully this notion of time. Gita wrote that as human beings, we are defined at our cores by how we respond to hardship. Writing about the Crowleys has taught me that there is not one right way, but that each person must find her own path, drawing on her own strength, passion, and resources. Who can say whether John's or Eileen's role is more important? Fueled by love, each of their journeys is tough, vital, and courageous. Knowing that each day really may be their children's last, they live with abandon, throwing themselves into every birthday party, trip to Broadway weekends in Ocean City, knowing so intimately the tenuousness of life. They instinctively understand what most of us forget, that all they really have and all they really are pursuing is time, time with the people they love. 
and so they grab onto each precious moment, cherish it, celebrate it, laugh at it, cry in it, and hope for another, even as they continue onto the journey into the unknown and the unknowable that we all call life. That's the journey of everybody living with these diseases, to fight for another day, to fight for each other. Thank you. Have a great night.